I'm Gwenda Joyce, and I'm here at the Grand Theater Center for the Arts in Tracy, California, where we're about to open the exhibition Earth, Air, Water, Fire, Balancing on the Edge. I'm so happy to have a chance to talk to you because the background to your work informs your work so much. I find so much joy being outside in nature, hiking, listening, smelling, and just observing. So in my work, that's where I want to be. That's what I want to show people. That's what I want to show people who I am and what's important to me. These places that I love so much are changing a lot. I feel that as I, as I get older, that it's feeling more urgent for me to record what I see and hope that I can not only my own age group, but maybe leave something behind for future generations of things that they may not see. But my hope is that my work might help instill somebody to think that, okay, that's really worth preserving and protecting. Um, so there are times when I work in, from field journals and from field sketches, but mostly I believe over the years, I've really honed my observational skills, and there are certain images that the minute I see them, I don't need to sketch them, I don't need to photograph them, they are in my head, and some of those are the, are the things that need to come out. Others are just animal encounters. It's like one of my focuses that I try to do is like Yellowstone Park. Of course, I want to see the wolves, and I love coyotes, so I always go in there going, oh, I hope to see a coyote. I'm going to be so disappointed if I don't see a coyote. And some other animal shows up, or some other experience shows up. And it's a reminder to me that you never go in with preconceived notions because what is supposed to happen and what is supposed to be recorded will come to you. Looking at all of my experiences um, and how I could put that into a body of work that would celebrate but also bring awareness to the threats to a lot of our habitats and our species. I did want to include some success stories like my peregrine falcon because they were brought back from the brink of extinction. So it wasn't all about things that we're losing, it was also to try to show what we can do if we come together to help. So the, the body of work is celebrating nature showing what we could lose if we don't work hard to keep it and preserve it, and showing what we can do if we all work together and, and there are success stories. That's my wish for 